down in southeast Louisiana on October 5th. Okay, so I'm just going to take the BVAC and uh, hopefully I can get that thing up here and vacuum them. That's what we'll do. I'm going uh, to show you where I am. Yeah, I guess I'm about 17, 18 feet up. Something like that. See my trailer down there. Alright, so we'll get into it. And we got that other one on that other corner. Give you a better idea what this thing looks like. Okay, it's a pretty big swamp, folks. It's about, uh, oh, man, this is, this is a good three pounds of bees, it looks like. Two and a half, two and three quarter, at least. Vacuumed a good bit already, as you can see. Come out, folks. Unless I vacuum, I've been looking for it. I saw it once already. There's our queen. All right. All right, folks. We're about to get into hive number two. Obviously, this is the larger of the two folks, and these have been here a lot longer, okay? But still, probably just, you know, a couple of weeks, if that. I don't know what these bees are getting out here. This is, you know, all marshland. They're getting something. I mean, goldenrod just started blooming, really. I, I don't really know what they're getting, folks. Uh, but anyway, that's what we got. We're about to get into these. Alright, I just want to show y'all. I think this queen here just didn't get mated properly, folks. You can see it's nothing but drones. Okay. Everything I pulled out so far. I pulled out a couple of comb sections already and it was all drone. That's what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna I guess combine these colonies, keep an eye on them and maybe combine them with a <clears throat> even another colony if uh, this the queen from that other colony isn't producing. But anyway, it's late in the year, we're gonna do what we can to and make them survive, folks. 